Welcome to another fabulous, high quality, excellent editing, film quality production of Briggs Beverage Reviews. Today, I have this guy. Not really sure. It's called Lemon Peel. It is a malt. It is a malt beverage with lemon juice. Contains alcohol. So that's, that's good to know. All right, well, here we go. The problem with the can, not them, me. I've got the problem. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh my god. That is fucking gross. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who... Who would make this and then produce it and then sell it someone sold this to trader joe's which means it's had more than one this is from wisconsin it's not like this is from washington and then they sold it to like a few select washington trader joe's no 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 this made it across state borders i i so far in my life, I have had some things, I've had drinks that are like way too strong with alcohol. I've had things that are like gross flavors, but I get that other people would like them. Or like, I get that I don't really like artificial tasting things. That's why I picked this. Cause I was like, I like lemon things, but like, oh my God. I honestly keep drinking it because I don't understand what is happening in my mouth. And also I need to know what percent alcohol this is because, okay, it's 5.7. I was concerned that it was gonna be like low alcohol content because like, some malt beverages aren't, or are they high alcohol? I don't really drink malt beverages. Maybe that's why. Oh God, the burp is even worse. I don't want, I don't want more. I don't, I can't. I don't know if I can do this. Popcorn makes everything better, right? Okay, I mean, if I just concentrate on the salt flavor from the popcorn and don't, don't breathe. That's the key to drinking this. Don't breathe it. Just straight down the gullet. Whew. But the thing is, uh, holding your breath when you swallow is that you get more of the air and that means you're gonna burp more. So it's like, do you wanna taste it going down or do you wanna taste it burping out? Do you wanna taste it in liquid form or gas form? Liquid, gas, liquid, gas, liquid, gas. What's happening? Who made this? I'm so mad. Yes. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever been so happy to have not purchased something in a pack before. It's probably why it was a single. It's probably like, oh my God, they probably are trying to get rid of it and crazy 
bold explorers like me are buying it from them and then oh my god I have to burp I'm scared I don't want to burp okay I think it passed oh, oh shit oh god oh no dude okay well This is, um, yeah. Okay, I said before, I've had wine that is, like, really gross, and I've had to dump out. And then there's, like, obviously drinks that are just not for me. Um, and I'm also, like... Well, as you can see up here, um, there's some red wine up there that I had previously um, test drove, and I didn't like it, but I save it for cooking because it's still fine. Um, there's also a bottle of, like, Shutter Home Rosé up there that has been there since I moved into this house, so I'm pretty sure it's at least three years been living on top of that fridge. I'm not really sure. It's like our cool, cute decoration that goes next to the dead plant and the protein powder. It's just how I live my life. Um, okay, I'm just trying to distract myself. Let's talk about something else. Oh my god, there's hair in my popcorn. I just keep eating the popcorn. Ah, that's the key to success. Um, one might be asking, why do you keep drinking this? First of all, I'm a firm believer in not letting alcohol go to waste because you pay for it. Sometimes you've had a hard time at work. Sometimes it's birthday week and you should be having some fun. Sometimes you're on quarantine and you don't have a lot of alcohol in the house. So... You're reduced to 5.7% alcohol lemon peel malt beverage. Why? 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 Malt beverage with lemon juice. It's okay. Oh, my God. oh it's not getting better. Oh. It's not getting better. Okay. Here's the thing. <sighs> Have you heard of a shandy? I've like vaguely heard of the term and I feel like in the US there's like this like, you know, 80s drink called a shandy and it was like beer and lemonade. And at one point in my life, I have worked in a pub in England. And when I first started there, I had never bartended before, <laughs> let alone in England. Anyways, that's another story for another day. But this guy is like, hello, love, can I get a shandy? They don't talk like that. I just don't have a great English accent. And I was like, yes, you can if you tell me how to make it. And it's half beer, half fucking lemonade. Like, you pour half a beer, half a pint of beer, and like a Stella or like an Amstel or something light like a light amber beer and then you put some fucking lemonade in it and like they have like a lot stricter drinking drinking and driving laws than we do so it's like literally one beer or one glass of wine or one cocktail and it's all measured and it's very specific and if you have more than one you are in big 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 trouble so and people follow the rules there go figure um at least from what I saw <laughs> I don't, actually I guess I don't know what people are doing but it seemed like everybody I knew followed the rules um anyways oh god I think people would do that because it's like lighter or you could have two like two beers it's just diluted with fucking lemonade I don't know it's a light summertime drink you know for the 
hardworking man. I can't do it. It's awful. It's fucking awful. Um, but maybe that was the thought process. This is like a shandy, but it's a 5.7% alcohol shandy with malt beverage. Malt beverage shandy. What is malt beverage? Who did this? It's ruining my popcorn. Oh my god. Yo. Okay. I'm doing it. And like it's semi getting better, but like I think it's just because I'm mostly chugging it at this point and my mouth is already filled with its nastiness. My mouth and my esophagus because I keep burping. It's fine. I'm doing great. This is fabulous. Would recommend. I say it with my mouth and my eyes are screaming. Also, my, my mouth is screaming. My taste buds do not care for this. That being said, like, this is so cute, right? Like, I was totally attracted. I was like, this is adorable can. Like, can't you see, like, cute girls drinking their malt beverage? I should probably drink a malt beverage and see maybe that's the problem. I just don't like malt beverage. Well, I also don't like lemon peels. So why would you call it lemon peel and not like lemon juice? Why would you? Okay, I also, I need more. Brewed and canned by Campaignology Brewing Company, Wanaki, Wisconsin. W.I. is Wisconsin, right? There's no other W states. Washington, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. <laughs> That's all right. Oh my god, so close. Malt beverage with lemon juice. Yo, I gotta find out more about this though, it's fucking weird. Oh look, but it also has like this guy screaming on it. Oh, do you see him screaming? It's a re visual representation of your taste buds. Let's go do some research. We are going to find out who invented this freaking thing because that's how mad I am about it. Like, why? Brewing. Caleb. Also, apparently, I don't know how to work the internet. Could be the 5.7. <laughs> it could be. My brain is rotting because it's so yucky. Okay, well, they only have three and a half stars on Google, so. Or whatever. Um, untapped. Oh, okay, cool. And this is not what I want. I want my phone next. Dot com. Potentially, this is a Trader Joe's brand. This is fun. This is like a mystery of like big corporation secret breweries. You think you're buying some cool brewery thing and it's actually really yucky malt beverage with lemon in it. It's so gross. Uh, uh, and you keep burping. And you keep uh, Oh, shoot. Come here. And you keep. Oh god, that. Oh. Huh. Campanology? Campaignology? So it definitely is not like a real brewery. That that is what we're learning right now. Apparently this to the internet, this is slightly common knowledge, but it's probably just common knowledge to people who drink the weird fucking beer that's at Trader Joe's and then is severely disappointed by its nastiness. It's not on beer menus because it's not a real brewery. Hang on. 
They also apparently have a pastry stout. Watching me Google things is probably not very interesting, so I'll probably just like fast forward this shit because, what? okay. Yeah, we don't care about another drink. Oh, that one's 8%, so maybe we'll drink it later. Okay, no, don't get distracted. Okay. Okay. Short story is, this is not from a real brewery. This is from like Trader Joe's where they probably make Trader Joe's Cuervo or whatever they call it. Uh, Senor Jose or something. You know that stupid Corona ripoff? And they call it something Jose. I don't know. Um, Trader Jose Cuervo. <laughs> Why do I keep saying Cuervo? I don't know. Um, anyway. Uh, so. This is from a Trader Joe's brewery. It is malt beverage with lemon. It tastes like you had some old beer and maybe like, ooh, 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 you know when you're playing King's Cup or um, uh, some of you other people from other areas of the country call it something else and I can't remember what it's called but you everybody like mixes whatever they have in their drink into one cup and then somebody has to drink this like trash drink it's like that because it's like oh yeah I have like this lemon drink and then like some guy has like oh I have a 40 and then they just pour it together and this is what came out and then freaking Trader Joe's decides to can it Oh god, this is going to be the worst burp. Well, that was another fabulous episode of Briggs Beverage Reviews. <sighs> Bye.